First Kings chapter 17 from verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hands, turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherit, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook chariot. That is before Jordan. And the ravens, the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. God commanded the ravens, birds called ravens, to feed Elijah the prophet. And the birds, the ravens heard and obeyed. If God commands you in your lack to give to a man of God who is a bigger man than you are, will you give? Who has more than you have? For any reason, will you obey? I want you to hear me and understand this about Job chapter number 38, verse 41. The Bible says, who talking about God, who provides the ravens his food. It is God that provides the ravens his food. When his ones cry unto God, they wonder for lack of food. Look at, look at it. It is God that is the provider of food for the ravens. Now, when the young ones of the ravens cry unto God, they wonder for lack of meat. In spite of their wondering for lack of meat, God commands them in the time of famine, when they are looking for food, to carry food that they need for themselves and for their young ones that are crying to Elijah the prophet and the ravens will obey. That's why God provides the ravens' food. Look at Psalm 147 verse 9. Psalm 147 verse 9. God giveth to the beast his food and to the young ravens which cry. The young ravens cry and God gives them their food. In Matthew chapter number 6, and verse 26, the Bible says, Behold the fowls of the earth, the ravens, for they sow not, they have no farm, they do not sow, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feeds them, because they hear the command of God and obey him. Are you not much better than they? In Luke chapter 12, verse 24, consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God, your father, my father, feeds them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? The question is, can you hear God and give in your lack? If you need food for your children, I'm not talking about money for rent. For food, for food, money for food. And you want to prepare your last meal and eat. Can you hear God? Obey him and give to a man of God or give to God. What you give to a man of God, you are giving it to God. And when you obey God, who has commanded you to give to a man of God, God becomes absolutely responsible to undertake and return to you. Harvests, returns, I mean, that will amaze you. The ravens obeyed, and God 
did not let them and their children die of hunger. Nobody can obey God and not be surprised by God. Hear me, hear me well. The reason why the church is struggling or why many of God's people are living in lack, even in the midst of abundance, is because of their stinginess and selfishness in giving. Can you give as a raven when your young ones are crying, you are carrying bread and meat to a man in the morning and in the evening? Can you do that? Can you do that? Won't you say this food, I must take it to my children first. That is where we miss it. When you are a messenger or a servant, you are expected to obey your master. You are expected to obey your Lord. So when God says, give me this, he knows your needs. He knows the things you need. When you obey him, in spite of your needs, you open yourself up for amazing returns from the Lord. The ravens obeyed God, obeyed the commandment of God, and took food and meat to Elijah morning and evening until the brook dried. They were there constantly in obedience every day. And when the brook dried, God moved Elijah to the widow of Zarephath. Also, God commanded the widow to give to Elijah. 1 Kings 17, from verse 8 to the end of the chapter. The woman heard, when Elijah came, she was gathering two sticks to prepare her last meal and eat and die with her son. Elijah told her to make, get him water. And she was saying, no, get me also something to eat. The woman said, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing but a handful of flour and an oil in a cruise. I want to prepare this last meal and eat and die. Elijah said, you won't die. Do what I say. For God says, if you can obey his command and give, no famine will affect you and your family. She went and obeyed. And for three and six months, for the two months, God kept supplying. That's the Bible. Luke 4, 25 and 26. Christ said there were many widows in Israel who were praying to God and crying and suffering and dying. Yet, a widow from Zarephath that had give and obeyed God and gave to a man. Huh? God supplied her needs, met all her needs for three years and six months. God can meet your needs today. All he demands is your faithfulness in giving. When God asks you to give, he's not asking you to give because he hates you. When God said to the raven, raven, go and give Elijah food. And the young ones of the raven were crying because of hunger. God was not wicked to say, go and give to a man who can look, for, look after himself. There's no man that can take any food to the raven's children up in the sky or anywhere they are. Nobody can do that. But God knows how to take care if you obey him. Let me tell you this. No matter where the provisions will come from or what God will do, if you can obey God, I don't care the odds, God will meet your needs. The ravens have their nest up in top, top, top rocks or anywhere, up in top, 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 very top of, the top of big, big trees. Nobody can climb such places, yet their young ones are crying and they are carrying food morning and evening to a man. How about can you do that? If your children, as a man, if your children are crying, can you leave giving them food and come and give me food? That's the problem we have as people. We reason, and our reasoning becomes our trap. My prayer for you is that God will open your eyes to see that when God says give, that command is to bring you returns that will be amazing. Obey God and give. And I'm telling you, God will surprise you with returns. Whatever we need is available. But God tests us, can we be faithful to him in obeying him? Then I tell you, God will surprise us by his blessings. My prayer again for you is that from today, you will never struggle to give. Because your wealth, your prosperity is in your giving. God bless you. Peace.